And we start off on Necropolis. Uh, just to wait for stream to come in. Yep. And looks like the team comp is going to be Zarya, May, and Batiste. Zarya, May, and Batiste. Looks like rotation has already happened. Might be starting out with this high ground. KCL and friends. Immortality feels them, wasted, really. Yeah. Very peculiar choice. Maybe he pressed E by accident. Who knows? And now they're just pushing KCL and friends. Ground advantage. KCL and friends trying to play as cautiously as they can. They don't want to go and engage on unfavorable terrain. Immortality right. field comes with a poke on the side, but it's kind yeah. of wasted again, really. Yeah. It kind of shows that they don't think there's going to be a full engagement anytime soon, but they might be wrong about that as KCL and friends come up to meet them on the high ground. Looks like um, looks like maybe he's just trying to hold high ground for as long as possible. Yeah. Uh, looks like the Immortality Field comes in clutch this time, saving them. Immortality Field drops, but it's also wasted from KCL and friends uh, on yeah, the wrong KCL side of the friend, map, really. KCL and friends uh, put their Immortality Fields on the wrong team. Which means they're without that vital cooldown coming into this next fight. There's Wardaf and Winterfey. It looks like really the ults are popping up. But Winterfey is taken down by Scans. That's a huge first pick for KCL and friends. Amplification Matrix comes out for, me for Maibi, though. And full charge Zarya is going to absolutely the wall hurt. comes in the way. Amplification Matrix comes out for KCL and friends as well. Suddenly Maibi have to take cover. And both teams seem to have forgotten about the impending capture area coming out. Scans falls low. Oh, Blizzard comes, comes out in, from UK it's Wiz. not enough and just trying to walk out very slowly when crippled by the Blizzard. Yeah. Not enough and it's just GG. Casey on friends. Casey on friends take will the take first point. the first round. Two, one, now we've got Genji, Sigma and Winston. Very interesting comp. Winston pretty good against the Genji. Uh, Sigma as well very good against Genji. Just needs to throw the rock and hit him in the face. But the way, um, Genji, but the way Genji is, he can get the two picks very quickly without anyone knowing. It's just too high, much too high of HP barrier really to get That's the quick uh, shuriken dash combo in for the one shot. That's true, but again, you can never know. Might be again pressing the high ground and KCL and friends playing as cautiously as they can on the low ground. They're once again rotating around the right hand side of this high ground, not letting Maybe to get get any chip damage on them. Maybe he's already lost the HP advantage. They have. But it looks really. looks like the is very in. low. He's now on literally one HP. He's got to be very cautious from now on out. And, and that's it. Genji's dies on maybe, maybe side, and now it's all on to KCL and friends to chase out the two final kills. Monkey's Winter gonna drop Faye very low. Very low, and he falls down as well, which just means it's easy 127 for my B, and he's on very borrowed time. It's KCL and friends jump on him, and it's just gonna two run nil. him down. Strong performances from KCL and friends so far. Though it's far from over yet. Junkrat, Somber, Reinhardt will be our comp Fight. for this round. All right, do you think they're going to take high ground again? I think they may try. They're running into a very peculiar spot. This is very favored by the Junkrat Mines with the spam damage. Yeah. Looks like Sombra's going to try and hack. Gets hacked herself, won't be able to recall. Quite a bit of health lost onto the Junkrat. And now it's all onto just one mine hitting and he gets a trade onto it. the Junkrat. And that's another good early pick for KCL and friends in order to swing this fight in their favor. Now looks up like looks like Casey on friends are gonna try and push in. Ryan's all by himself. Sombra's behind. Looks like Junkrat's gonna Ryan go and trade down. and kill him. And now it's all on to Sombra. ET127 all again by himself. And it's just too little. Yeah. Once again, that was a good early pick from Casey on friends to wind up right up the round fairly early. Let's see if they can do any better this round, where the comp will be. Doomfist Armor Tracer. Finally got some heals on the board with the armor. But without a tank or a shield, she can be quite vulnerable, especially to the Doomfist. A sleep dart maybe the only thing that can save her. We'll see what happens. Seems that Maybe once again taking that oh. high ground. Tracer nearly gets yeeted off the map, ha forced to recall. Very close to getting one shot with the Anadot coming in as well. Maybe and again staying up on the high ground, <laughs> trying to play as cautious as possible. Sleep the Anna's trying, to <laughs> Anna's trying to duel right now. Seems that ET-127 is forced to back off a little bit, having taken some damage. Ooh, and KCL and friends, Anna's just playing the better game right now. Bartic grenade wasted already. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be pushed off the map on maybe side, but they both trade each they other. They both trade. Dark Sensor was able to take a Ferner, but falls off the map in the process. Originally, we're down to the Tracer and the Honor on both sides. 
but still, Casey Owen Friends has been having the better armor fight so far. EC-127 is able to heal himself up, but that's a waste of the Bionic Grenade that could have been used elsewhere. Sleepdar trying to come in, just flies barely wide enough. And looks like seconds. capture point is going to unlock in 28 seconds. Bionic Grenade hits Bionic Diana. Grenade comes Absolutely in, goes huge. Very low. And a very huge pick onto KCO and friends. It looks like maybe he might be able to pick this one off. Two members left with point opening in 18 seconds. Is Tracer going to have what it takes to do it? I don't think so. It's going to be very difficult for the Tracer to win this. UK Wiz is clearly waiting for the last moment. He heads onto the point, gets a few points off onto Winterfaber, who hits him as well. And Winterfay just has the healing that UK Wiz doesn't. It looks like. Uh, and it looks like. Ah, uh, might be Wolby comes in. This. Sleep comes in. Absolute stellar performance by ET127 on the armor. It looks really a bit shaky. Off. Looks a bit shaky for him at times, but he definitely popped right. off there towards the end, which gave that round to Maybe, which gives the score as 3 1. It seems to be a Zenyatta, Roadhog, and Farah. With no real counter to her, the Farah could run wild here. Which means both teams will try and take as much cover as they can. There's a hook Ooh. there onto my B Zenyata, which ends that. Very little Very healing now left. And now it looks like it's just gonna be a push onto the hog. Huge hook and coming now it in. It looks like it's just gonna be a clean up there. That's another huge early pick for Kelsey on friends, which they were able. They were able to push into their advantage. Casey on friends are really playing this group's comp very well, staying wow. together. Um, but this nice. is good, it's probably going to be different because now they've got the comp where they don't want to be grouped. They want to find the picks off on each other. Looks like Widow's going to try and hook up. Are they going to get the first pick off onto the other Widow? Who's going to win the duel? Looks like McCree's gone underneath on a s small mission. Shot misses and they didn't even see him. And now it's Knife. they know where they are. Neither Widow able to get the shot they need. This is, of course, match point. Casey Owen friends can win this to win the first round of the best of three. Best of three. Maybe desperately need the win here to stay in contention. Oh, when Casey Owen friends Widow falls very low, but in the end, it's Maybe's McCree. McCree trying to go for a flank play and just get stunned first when he the flashbang comes out. It Not very, McCree. It very almost paid out for him. Paid off for him rather. But unfortunately, it was just not to be, and might be once again find themselves at a man advantage. Oh, and they're not looking on the right side for the Widow. Widow's hiding on the right, and they don't know it. Shots come out, now they know Shots about the position. Out. And now Casey they're hiding from both sides. Casey and, and friends weren't able to take advantage of that confusion from my B side. With Widowmaker on your side. Oh, oh, and, and that's a very comes good up. pick from ET127 onto scams, which brings his might be back into contention here. Are they waiting for point to unlock? Casey and friends will be favoured here if it comes to the point, however. High ground Acclo control. Very strong. Looks like they're waiting in the room. I think they know. Maybe might might won't want to take this at close range. What Casey and friends want to do is make sure, but they have no choice but to take it at close range. It all depends on whether ET-127 can get the quick picks he needs. Points aren't going to unlock in five seconds. Whoever touches first, really going to put themselves in an unfavorable position. Who's going to fight first? They're spread out. They're sped out onto looks the point. Looks like Casey on friends going to take it first, and it looks like points going to get it. They're taking it, and maybe weren't even able to touch the point. They were relying on their Widowmaker getting the picks they needed there, but unfortunately, it just wasn't to be. And Casey out and friends Play of the game. win the first map. They win the first map and are now a match point and go up 1-0 in this best of three series. Here's the attempt of the McCree to flank. Could have paid off for them there, but unfortunately 